Hey everyone, it's Alice. So in today's video I'm really excited about because as you can tell by that little bookshelf over there, I love books. I love books, I do. And this one's getting a wee bit full because I've had to start stacking books in front of all my other books because I have no space. And as you might have guessed, well not guessed, as you might have noticed, there's normally a desk here. There's no longer a desk here. So like three days ago, well no, it's been building up for a while. I was like, okay, now I'm gonna I'm gonna buy a bookshelf in summer and like rearrange all my books and everything. And then I like told my mum about it and she was like, well, why aren't you just doing it now? And I was like, well, you know, like I'm going back to uni in like, you know, a couple of days and it's probably just not the right time. And long story short, we then bought a bookshelf bookcase and it arrived today and I'm about to build it. And so it's a Billy bookcase from Ikea and it's, this is a Billy bookcase, but the other one is over twice the size. And so I definitely don't have enough books to fill it. But yeah, so my auntie came and took my desk and some spare boxes I had and my chair, so they're gone and there's a big empty space behind me where I'm going to build a bookshelf. The only issue is it might be a bit of a struggle to get it up there because it fits in my room. The measurements fit with three centimetres to spare, so it's going to be a bit of a squeeze. That is what I'm doing today, building a bookshelf and bookcase, not bookshelf, bookcase. Rearranging this and the thing that will be there. Ignore the wardrobe. Over here, I have this like display case with my TV on top and that has loads of DVDs in it. What I'm going to do is move them onto a bookshelf and then I've got these big boxes that fit into the storage holes and I'm gonna fill them with all the stuff that used to be in my desk, you see, so I thought now, thinking it through. So um, I haven't been able to bring up the bulk of the bookcase because uh, as strong as I am, I need two people. So <laughs> I'm waiting for mum to help me with that. But yeah, so in the meantime, I'm gonna put together my boxes and do some organizing. If you haven't seen my face before, hey, my name's Alice. Really like it if you could like and subscribe, that would be great. Without further ado, enjoy the show. Okie dokie, this is really quick whilst my dad's gone on the hump for screws. Time has passed, bookshelf is half built, shelves aren't in and there's a whole other like top section to do for the really high bit. I've reorganised this a little bit, I've got my DVDs along the, along the, how do I gesture to this, I've got my DVDs along the bottom, some DVDs there, a Shakespeare book there, Xbox games there. Update, so it's now 7 o'clock, that took us like 4 hours, we basically tried to fix it to the top of the wall but because there was only 3 centimetres and the brackets were exactly 3 centimetres, we couldn't get it up there without scratching up my ceiling which happened. And so now we've like got two holes drilled in the wall and everything's set up but it's just not happening but basically means that it's not attached to the wall so if a small child climbs on it and it falls off like it'll fall off and kill them. So that's a bit of a dilemma. But I'm just, I've got books all over the floor and I'm meant to be at the pub with my mum but I'm not and so I'm going to meet her there and I'm just going to stack books. I've put the shelves in, this is this is bookshelf now. I'm just going to stack books. I'll show you like my floor situation. So they're all on the floor. They're all on the floor, they're all stacks of books but they're like actual stacks of books. And then I've still got books stacked there and books up there. So it's definitely a work in progress but I really really want to get some done. Like I don't want to have to come home to like books all over my floor. So I'm just going to put some country music on and go at it and have, have a go. The only thing I know that I'm going to do is I'm going to split it not specifically by categories, but I'll have a separate shelf for my contemporary books. Um, but all of the others are just gonna probably merge together. I might organize some by like, you know, like middle grade and then just the rest of the YA. I'm not gonna separate like fantasy and sci-fi because sometimes they confuse me. But that's the plan so far. Enjoy the show. <laughs>
this is probably not the best idea because it's 11 o'clock and I'm drunk. Okay, so it's now 11 o'clock. I am back from the pub and my bookshelf has been made. My mum came home and I was like, please give me another half an hour. I need to, I need to sort this out. So I've sorted out the bookshelf. I'll show like an overview of it. So up here I've got the books that like I don't really care about, like books I loved when I was younger but I don't really care about now. Here are my middle grade books, so I've got my Percy Jackson, my Cherub, my Harry Potter and then here I've got my Sarah J Mass, my Red Queen series, my Cassandra Clare books. Here I've got more Cassandra Clare books, Maria V. Schindler. I've got my Poison Study books, so the Chronicles of Ixia books. And then here I've got my contemporary shelf with all my contemporary books and Milk and Honey, which is a poetry book. And then here I've got more book series that I love. So I've got, you know, the Lunar Chronicle series, Hunger Games, the Lorian Legacy books. And then down here I've got all my books that I either have like beginnings of series or only the book has, only has one book. Um, and then this pile here is my books that I'm planning to read for the next month. So this is my bookshelf. But that is me for today. I love you all so much. I hope you had an amazing day and I will see you hopefully next Monday with another video. I just want to say, Emily, Annie, Nisba, I love you all so much. I can't wait to see you next week. Bye bye.